of water and gas in and out of the cell. Uh, there's a third hole in this particular end plate that's got a little three-quarter inch plug in it and that'll serve as a drain which will be installed later once the assembly is constructed. Okay, moving along. Here are our end plates that'll conduct electricity. These is 316 stainless steel 22 gauge uh, 9 by 9 plates that have been sanded with 36 grit sandpaper to roughen them up as a surface prep with the edges left unsanded so that the gaskets can seal. Uh, two of the plates on one on each end have a one inch tab on them that will be used to conduct the power into the cell. And there's a quarter inch hole drilled in, in that tab and here's the plates with 5 8 inch holes. Uh, Steve used 3 8 inch holes. He suggested we widen the hole to 5 8 to get more flow through the cell. So we're going to see how that works out. Uh, this is another, this is the other end, end plate that will conduct current. And this one has a gasket laying on top of it so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. The gaskets are 1 16 inch neoprene rubber. Came in a roll and had to be cut. I'll pull it off here so you can kind of see what it looks like away from the cell. And they've got the you know, half inch width and 9 by 9 outer, 8 by 8 inner with a 1 inch tab. Okay, that'll serve to seal against the end plate. Let's move along here. Here's one of the standard neutral plates, 9x9, nine nine, with sanded surface, 22 gauge, 316 stainless, and clean edges to allow the gaskets to adhere. Here's a few more. And here's the whole stack, prepped and waiting to assemble. And here's one of our gaskets, okay, that doesn't have the tab, and there'll be about 116 of those interspersed between the plates as the cells put together. Here's the templates I ordered from the metal, the metal cutting company. I'm not sure what they're made out of, but they're rigid enough to where you could take two of these that are 9 by 9 on the outside and 8 by 8 on the inside with a half inch width. Uh, you could take two of these, sandwich your gasket material between them, and cut away and get the desired gasket. I also used them to sand the stainless steel plates by clamping each plate between the two. Uh, templates to protect the edges from sanding. 